Hello, my fellow adventurers. Esper here, hope you're doing good. Today, I'm actually going to be reviewing tabletop tokens. This is a pretty cool accessory for those that use battle maps or encounter maps on your tabletop role-playing games, Dungeons and Dragons and whatnot. And this actually just hit Kickstarter. The Kickstarter just launched, I think yesterday, uh, it's by Geek Tank Games, and we've got art from Ross McConnell over at Two Minute Tabletop. So I've got three sets. They're going to be the three initial sets that are up on the Kickstarter. I'm going to take a look at them here. You can also go down and find a link to the Kickstarter in the video description. Here I have the three tabletop tokens that are going to be released at the initial launch. We have the... Uh, castle furnishings, the camping set, and the castle siege. Uh, so, something that I do like about this is uh, not only does it show you all the pieces that are inside, but this is the storage container. You you uh, you keep this. You can keep your pieces organized inside of here so nice use of the packaging all right let's open this up okay let's see how this goes they are double-sided nice okay comes out pretty easily Very durable uh, polyvinyl material here. Uh, they are waterproof. You can also use uh, dry or wet erase markers on them. Apparently they are crease resistant and also resistant to tearing. So let's uh, let's just try a little bit on the the template sheet here. Okay. Been in it. Yeah, it seems to just pop back in place. I don't see any creases. I'm gonna apply some more force. It's good. Let's try out some scratching. As you can see, they do scratch, so do not run them over sandpaper. A bloody table with a knife. Okay, it looks like we've got here boxes or crates. Uh, that's a chest. I believe those are privies, always important. We've got some barrels. Looks like some thrones and mounted stag and boar's head. For these stone things, these almost seem like they would be useful in a dungeon when characters get trapped into a room, like they step in the middle of the room and stone slabs or blocks come down that seal them in there and then maybe there are traps or a summoned monster and let's head into the camping i really like these trees and rocks and tents i think it's a real neat look i was actually given some additional trees so that's that's what comes in the set uh, but i do like this look i could see an entire expansion only of forest terrain uh, trees, rocks, fallen logs, uh, thick plant life or undergrowth, that would be difficult terrain. Um, and there would also still be room for a few manufactured things, maybe a primal shrine or some kind of totem pole. Look at this. This is totally ready for the player characters to get attacked while they are camping in the middle of traveling. <laughs> I also quite like this boat. Uh, maybe you'd call it a canoe. I really like encounters where it's part land and part water and somebody can get in these boats. I just find that to be really dynamic. The price of these is going to be $15, which I think sounds good. That's about what I would expect for this type of product. It's about the same price as a pack of miniatures, and in some cases even a bit cheaper than the actual miniatures. Now the Castle Siege. I think just at first glance, this one looks the most impressive. Uh, 
mainly because of the art. I mean, these things are more complex and detailed looking objects. It's, it is just more impressive at a glance. Though I do think you would use the other tokens more often, this one just really has a cool look to it. We got a bunch of different siege weapons and also siege vehicles. I'm going to call this one Siege Tower. I think this one's really tall, and see how there's arrows in the, sticking out of the front of it? It's like a carriage with a battering ram uh, protected inside. And here are the really big guys, like this huge cannon for those that want to do more of a Renaissance era, colonial era, or maybe even a steampunk setting. This uh, enormous ballista. Two sizes of catapult. Got trebuchet, and then this, which is maybe a ballista or a large uh, scorpion crossbow. Smaller cannons. I also like how there are these, you know, these horizontal ladders, and then also these vertical ladders for those that are like standing up and you're kind of looking top down on them. Here's what I'm doing so far to use these tabletop tokens. This is the fortress siege video I've been working on. So I've actually drawn this uh, rampart here with a tower and this area that was already you know, broken before. This gives me a good base to work around. You know, these parts aren't going to move. You can lay these down pretty quickly. They just go right out and uh, they look really good. They look really good on the battle mat here. Again, I really like the art on these. Uh, it's very balanced. It's a good balance between simple and complex, between realistic and maybe comic book. I think comic book is the style overall that, that I would use to describe these. Here's a different dungeon battle map of mine that I've used before. Let's throw a couple down on it. So when the player characters entered the dungeon room here, set off the ward and these stone blocks came down. Now they've got to figure out the room. Maybe they'll have to fight an encounter or solve a puzzle to get out. Got the blood table and some different uh, storage pieces. What is this door up here? What's behind that? Could be more danger. Beware the one who sleeps at the bottom of the pit. Ha ha ha. Another idea for a future set I would like to see is really just dungeon objects, things that you could find in a typical dungeon or underground labyrinth. I'm sure there'll be more pieces to come. Actually, I heard about a graveyard and a sewer set to come. I think those both sound like great ideas. There are a few really cool benefits to using these. One is that it saves you time and they look good aesthetically. Yeah, they're, they're artistically pleasing, but it really leads to the characters interacting with the environment because instead of now just this static kind of background thing that they might ignore it's an actual object and it will lead to object interaction it could affect the combat encounters in dynamic ways the objects can move you don't have them just stuck as a static drawing now you know what if i wanted to throw the box down onto the guy who's sleeping in the in his bed at the bottom of the pit Another thing I would like to see, I don't know if this is possible, but I've used PVC sheets, the clear plastic sheets for things that I can lay on top. Let's say the character is coming along and he hits a trap, a pit trap. There we go. Suddenly that fits right over the top. It's clear so you can see the actual battle map underneath it. Or it could be a broken crack in the floor, an area of rubble. A magic glyph. So I see some different potential with these. I really like it. So once again, these are called tabletop tokens. Go and support them on Kickstarter. It's going to be a cool addition to your home tabletop RPG games. And I've actually just finished an epic encounter video. You can check it out probably here. It's called Siege at Blade Render Fortress. You can see the tabletop tokens in action and see a massive battle between an orc army and a goblin army. So thank you very much for watching this review. I hope that tabletop tokens enhances your game and I look forward to seeing the next video.